My name is Bailey Franklin. I'm a district manager for the Meeker South District. That covers the southern portions of Unit 24 and Unit 23. So that's what I'm going to be briefly giving an overview about today. We'll start in Unit 24. It's east of Meeker, uh, predominantly U.S. National Forest lands on White River National Forest. And the southern portions of Unit 24 are pretty remote. Not a lot of roads and trails, so be thinking about that. If you want to hunt the southern portion of Unit 24, it's pretty much foot or horseback only. There's a lot of outfitters in Unit 24, so if you're not comfortable uh, going on your own on foot or horseback, there's plenty of opportunities to uh, rent horses or go with an outfitter. Unit 24 is, is high country, so be thinking about that if you're planning a hunt. It's fantastic during the early seasons, archery and muzzleloader and first rifle seasons. Later in the year, those animals migrate out of that high country, so don't be planning to hunt in Unit 24 during those later rifle seasons because as hunting pressure and weather uh, comes in in those later seasons, it drives those elk down to lower elevations and more into Unit 23 and even farther west. So be aware of that for elk hunters. Um, Unit 24 also has a small bighorn sheep population in the South Fork of the White River, so that's an opportunity. Also has a significant moose population that we introduced in 2009 and 2010. Um, and again, it's, it's pretty remote country, so be prepared for foot or horseback uh, opportunities there. There's a lot of good trailheads and maps on White River National Forest that you can look at for that southern portion of Unit 24. Then we can move into Unit 23. Um, those animals, as I said, with hunting pressure and weather, they will migrate to the west as uh, the fall progresses, so be aware of that. Um, I didn't mention, but Unit 24 is, doesn't have a lot of mule deer, for, so if your focus is on mule deer, you'll want to focus more on Unit 23 than on 24. There's obviously some up in the high country in 24, but very low densities, um, so be aware of that. Unit 23 is again great habitat for both deer and elk. Also has a very small pronghorn antelope population, but it, the pronghorn antelope are 100% on private land. So don't apply for a Unit 23 antelope license unless you have access to private land. It's just not worth it. Um, turkeys in Unit 23 is also a very limited opportunity and those are almost 100% on, on private land as well. So if you want to apply for one of our limited Unit 23 turkey licenses, please line up private land access before you do that. Mule deer in Unit 23 is fantastic opportunity. There's lots of both public and private hunts on Unit 23 for mule deer. Oak Ridge State Wildlife Area is a fantastic property for both mule deer and elk, especially uh, for elk, it's later in the, in the seasons when, like I say, they move from the east to the west. So for elk on Oak Ridge, focus on third and fourth rifle seasons on a typical year. Um, we'll get enough hunting pressure and weather to push them down to Unit 23 on Oak Ridge. Um, Mule deer are there, are there year round, so Oak Ridge is a fantastic mule deer property for you. Again, foot or horseback only access. Um, a lot of the, the Unit 23 is private land, so be aware of that. There are, uh, you need to make sure you know where you're at. But a lot of good hunting opportunities in Unit 23 for mule deer, elk, uh, antelope, moose, those kind of things. Um, and other than that, I think that's about it.